left over. Uh, we stay last night at my dad's, he lives on the south coast. Um, we don't have anywhere to go, the kids are at their grandparents um, for the week, so we just decided why not drive to France? So an hour ago we booked a ferry and we're now sat in the queue to get on board the ferry um, and we're off to Dover. No, nope, we're off to Calais um, and I'm not sure where we're going from there. We have no accommodation, we have nothing, we just have our suitcases in the boot, so you know, this is fun. <laughs> seating area. There's an like an adult arcade. And then the toilets. And down here. Like upstairs is the club lounge, we're not allowed to know. There's like a change place where you can get um, Euros, but I just managed to get some at the dock anyway. You've got a duty free shop. This is an open, um, I presume it will open once we set sail, but not sure. And if we keep going, and toilet that way. So, through here. Alright, there's a food court upstairs, so we'll look at that in a second. Down here, there's more seating, and this is that's like another bar with snacks, like sandwiches, cakes, coffees, and there's places to seat, and you can see out the front window that way. There's like a kids zone over there. It's not like the biggest ship in the world, but it is big, it's not small. And it's only an hour and a half crossing anyway. So that was the family lounge. And then, oh, we've done full circle here. Upstairs. Up here, with all the puppies, is the food court. So let's see what you can get up here. Um, this way. So, here's like a dining area and um, more toilets. Got a good view of the other ship over there. And look again, you can see at the front. So, food options are hot drinks, cold drinks, snacky things. Breakfast cereals, got soups, burgers, Indian, chicken and chips, pies, uh, fish and chips, and breakfast. Okay. So that's your food court, and then obviously, oh no, ice creams aren't there. It is pretty much the same as the other side. The other side of the shop and more seating. That's the duty free. So we ended up in Normandy um, and figured we'd come and see um, the D-Day stuff. 
So we are currently walking up to the uh, Can Memorial. I don't know if I said Ken right, C A E N. So this is a Cold War exhibition. like the old cinema. A popcorn machine. There's a clean. What sort of plane is this? It's a Soviet. Um, a Soviet? Okay, it's a Soviet plane. There we go, it's a MiG-21. It's pretty big actually. Got a big spike on the front. And this must be some sort of bomb. Nuclear bombs? Is this a pretend one? As a nuclear bomb. That man just made me jump. <laughs> it's <was> pretty scary. <laughs> what I will say is it's really not busy. So it's quite quiet if you if you're worried about crowds and things. We're here at I don't know half eleven in the morning. I don't know whether it's just this part of the museum, we'll see as we go around. There are, the lights are dim, but there are quite a lot of noises um, from the videos, but they're not too loud. Maybe bring it up as if you needed them. Um, but yeah, there's no crowds of people so far. So there's descriptions written in English, but everything in, everything like film and everything is French. So when you're walking around, you can't really understand it looks like you get an audio tour though, so maybe they can have that in English instead. This is part of the Berlin Wall. Um, we've actually been over to Berlin, so there's some blog posts on my blog about um, places over there to do with the war. And here... Well, it's a German car. It's a bit like my Nan's car when I was little. A Sherman tank and a rocket system. Yeah, I believe it's a Sherman tank. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Mm. This is the Grand Hall, the main bit of the museum, and I think I found the crowds now. Um, the there is a large queue to get tickets to get in. So, um, yeah, if you struggle with cues, this could be a potential issue. Thanks. So, this goes outside to the bunker. There, there is a crash here where you can leave your kids by the look of it. I didn't want to film it because that would look like I was filming in the crash. Is that where we're going down there? Yeah. Oh wow, so underneath here is a bunker. Yeah. Well that's cool. Shall we go in the lift? Bunker. Wow. It's pretty dark now here. Pretty some sort of booming noises in the background. You can hear them, they're not too loud. You can actually get into the bunker without a ticket, so if you didn't want to queue, this might be an interesting place to visit. However, you can't get the audio tour. But there is um, writing about stuff. So I'm not sure if this is an actual bunker or just a recreation of a bunker. Someone can probably tell me in the comments if you've been here. What have I found here? 
butter dish cutlery. That's a pony fur backpack. That's made of pony fur. I am not entirely sure what this is. It looks like some sort of control center. There's like old telephones. Maybe it's like a telephone communication center, maybe. There we go. Some sort of main office. So again, the audio tour would be useful, but you can still get a good feel of it without it. Yes. What I will say is it's quite cold in here, so um, if it's hot outside, like I'm wearing a jumper because it was a little bit windy outside, but if it's hot outside you probably want to bring a jumper. This is like a medical room I think, because that is some sort of stretcher on wheels and like an oxygen machine over there That's so cool like really old I've just found this so presumably you can use this priority entrance of the Tukuki which just goes straight to the front um, so that's really good that's for disabled people so you'd be able to use that 